Good morning everyone and after a two week hiatus, welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Sunday the 26th of June 2022 and today it is back to Rugby League and we're heading up to Kingston Park for Newcastle Thunder versus Workington Town in the Championship. So, uh, just heading down towards Kingston Park now. Uh, Workington are currently rock bottom of the championship table with only one win to their name all season. So, it looks as though they're, they're, uh, they're going to be heading straight back to uh, League One. Um, but as for as for us, we're uh, 10th in the table. It's been a bit of a sticky time for us of late. Uh, earlier this week, Eamon O'Carroll uh, left the club um, and it has to be said for so far this season uh, performances and things like that really haven't been that great when you consider the amount of money that we've spent and the fact um, that we have gone full time this season it's maybe safe to say uh, there was a lot more expected of us um, but fingers crossed today it can be something of a fresh start and uh, we can at least go on and end the season with positives to take into the next one I mean, really with all due respect uh, we've not really got any any excuse today at home against bottom of the league and a team that we've beaten already this season uh, we really need to be getting a win today but uh, there's quite a few ex Thunder lads in that Workington team and they'll obviously be wanting to come back to Kingston Park and get a good result um, but we'll just have to see how it goes let's head to Kingston Park and find out how it all unfolds right so I'm working to now onto the pitch
half time Newcastle Thunder 30 working to town six uh been pretty simple really um can see why working to are really struggling a minute I mean like with essentially running rings around them uh, like I think it's where rugby league you get a lot of games that you go to where you sort of have a, a good idea of what the out, the outcome is going to be before you go this is certainly proven to be one of those I mean to be fair to, to us so we've uh, we do seem a lot sharper today though we've essentially got a fully fit squad which hasn't really been the case for a lot of the matches so far this season but uh I'm not complaining, though. it's nice to see us let's see us winning by a fair margin and fingers crossed that we can build on it in the second half.
Full-time Newcastle Thunder 66, Workington Town 22. Can I just say, if you don't suffer from hay fever, how jammy you actually are, because, uh, yeah, it is. I'm going for it in a minute, and it is totally grim. But anyway, on to this afternoon's rugby. Uh, it's nice to be leaving a Thunder game feeling relatively happy about things. Um, I think, overall, on... On the day, we were a lot better than what I'd seen from us previously this season. Uh, I know we were playing against bottom of the league, but um, but at the end of the day, we got 66 points and uh, we had a 100% conversion rate, which is ideal because uh, that's been a, a major problem of ours so far this season where we've been getting a try, but uh, we're not getting the extra two points to go with it. Um, and to be fair, today there were some pretty good tries in my opinion. Uh, I think there was one in the second half. I didn't quite get all of the movement, but uh, the ball's been kicked up in the air and he's uh, chased it down and there's caught, chased it down, caught and ran through it. And, uh, and, and yeah, the, so yeah, uh, that was, was really impressed by that. Um, to be fair, I thought overall on the day we are here, did everything we needed to do basically. I think there was a spell sort of part way through the second half where Workington really started to get on top. And uh, it was at that point, uh, obviously, they were still quite far behind, but um, but you were sort of stood there, sort of thinking to yourself, God, are we going to have another capitulation here? But thankfully, that. Never came. I think, I think if we've been brutal about it, um, there was some sort of change that needed to happen within this club, and uh, let's hope now. Um, I, I really just hope now that we can go on and uh, finish the season strongly and have positives to take into next year because we're not going to get in the playoffs, but uh, we're certainly not going to. Go down either, obviously. Uh, now we move on to Featherstone away, which is going to be a very tall order. But uh, there's a new, but the overall feeling around the club's much better than it was, say, say a week or maybe two weeks ago. Um, but anyway, that is that for this video. I'll be back on Tuesday with my preview for the 2022 to 2023 football season. As well in that video, there will be a whole new intro as well. So, um, so yeah, I uh, hope you made the most of the the. I uh, hope you made the most of watching the intro for this video because that one is never coming back again. But until Tuesday, take care, and I will see you later.